Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Val 53 Tarot. She's read for you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling their current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Excuse me, drink responsibly. Whoever's out there drinking, drink responsibly. As the Five of Cups shows up. Okay. Every, yeah, everyone's got their reasons. Everyone's got their vices, you yeah. know. Jumping into this Gemini, what they do show me right away. There is, it's actually quite interesting. They, they show me right away a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. Um, even though finances are a little bit difficult and rough right now, at the same time, there is something here that is extremely very difficult for them to kind of get over. I'm not too sure if this was like some type of argument, conflict, disagreement, but whatever this is, they kind of are showing me as well. They are wanting to remain very adamant and a slight bit defensive as to, okay, well, because of this, I'm now going to swing on over to the other side and focus on moving forward. Um, and I ran. I ran so far away, couldn't get away. There is some type of new passionate beginning here or possible start. At the same time, I feel like whatever this is, they are unfortunately throwing themselves into this. Um, it does feel like a little bit of fixation, a little bit, I'm not going to say obsession quite yet until we see the clarifiers, but whatever it is, they're definitely trying to acknowledge and fill out their emotions to figure out what it is they truly want and where they are truly at here emotionally. A lot's going on in their mind about finances, work, career, success. Um, I do have to say this. Not only with drinking, but possibly with sexual addictions. Be careful and be smart. Be responsible. There could be, in a sense, considered happy accidents. Um, I am looking at, let's just say, someone stepping into the next stage of their life. And this, I feel, not necessarily that message in and of itself, but whatever is going on here, um, just to say it, I'm looking at three feminines. So... And possibly a, a little one. Possibly. But lots of bit of emotional disappointment and burden to kind of deal with and carry as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what else we can find. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's lots of, yeah, this is, this is accepting the duality of life. Um, lots of happiness, a lot of good fun times at the same time, a lot of confusion inwardly. So I kind of feel like their external world, everything is going the way it is, which feels nice. Um, but internal world is a completely different story. There's something here that they are trying to kind of have to sift through and discern about, um, I feel like it's regarding everything, possibly just their overall life. Yeah, there is some type of energy here, whether it is a living situation. Um, but with things being very difficult the way it is, I feel like there is some type of consideration of communication here between the two of you. But 
again, that, 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 that energy right there is kind of like where this, I feel like fight or argument or conflict happens. That's the equivalent Gemini. If someone opens up, why does it seem like it's kind of like mind over heart? Because something's going on here that it's, it's, it's through the communication. That's really something that they're having a difficulty letting go of. So, <clears throat> yeah. And like I said, even emotionally, whatever took place through this communication, um, mentally, they can't drop this emotionally. They're still having to work this out at the same time. It's an energy of, I don't know why I just heard, are you a shady lady? I don't talk that way, but someone does. Some, is someone a shady lady? Is someone a shady fella? Yeah, it's, it's an energy of, well, because something happened, now I'm going to go do this out of spite. Those thoughts, yeah, those thoughts, those thoughts. Um, they're like, well, fine then. I'm going to go, I'm going to go look at everything and everyone out there. And even though they're, they're showing me there is this internal conflict and internal battle, um, they're just trying to figure out how to move forward from all this. And they are, they're thinking about moving forward and I feel like they, they're doing it. Ooh. They want to create balance. Um, I'm not too sure exactly if they are trying to make things right. I kind of feel like they could be, but I'm not too sure exactly with what or with who. Interesting. What's this about? Okay. Like I said, with the sexual addiction thing, that is what I'm looking at. Um, ultimately, that's what gets them thinking about their independence. It's, yeah, I understand that. It's, it's the rebound, it's the bounce. Um, Oh my goodness. They're, uh, they're not too sure which shoulder to listen to. There are two energies on their shoulders. They're not too sure which one to listen to. It's like they have this in their ear, then they have another one in their ear. And they're like, well, let me just kind of listen and see what they have to say. And as they're kind of waiting things out and filling things out, it's, they're a little bit confused emotionally as to what to do. Yeah, as well as they are very guarded. I feel like their focus is going more towards some type of financial opportunity. Yeah, yeah. They see some type of opportunity here. I'm not too sure. Um... Okay, so they're saying that this is their process of how they let things go. This is how they let things go in order to kind of move forward with something. Or possibly someone, but. Yeah, I, I gotta say it. There's this feels like an unplanned pregnancy. Definitely life changing, but what they're saying is they weren't ready for it. But at the same time, it's like here it is, surprise. Um, and they're trying to kind of keep their cool. So a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of fixed, interesting fixed. Um, a lot of mixed emotions, but they are definitely trying to gain control of themselves mentally about this. Um, okay, okay. They're kind of like, well, here it is. Here it is. And there you are, Gemini. 
and they're looking at you like, hmm. What does that mean? What does that mean for us? And ultimately they're kind of having like, okay, well, this is happening, this is taking place. Let me take a step back. I need to really assess this thing. And I really need to look at everything and everyone involved and how this is going to, you know, move forward. Um, so of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Gemini, we do have shown up. Libra, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries. And that is all. Goodbye.